What do you think Kevlar is? Nice. Kevlar. Kevlar. Yes. Oh, Kevlar sounds like a gas company. Kevlar. Oh, I don't know. No, sounds it's like a drug. Hey, hey. What do you think it is? <laughs> it ties tightly wound strands and it's used in both through vests. It's the best answer we've gotten all day. It's the best answer we've gotten all day. Gonzalez here with uh, Josh Garcia. Uh, Josh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I was in the Marine Corps for a little over four years. I went to Iraq three times. And uh, I've had some, uh, some, some use of this uh, flak jacket, sappy plates, uh, and Kevlar, like you're, uh, like you're looking into. Uh, first off, let me show you what, um, what we had to, to work with out there. It's about uh, 60 pounds worth of gear. Uh, it consists of two sappy plates, which stop are, are what they able to stop uh, 762 rounds, which come out of an AK-47, which is what they shoot at us. That's for front and back. You have two side sappies, which protect obviously the sides against 762 rounds as well. And the vest itself, which is able to stop a 9mm round, um, that uh, just in case if they did shoot a 9mm at you, which they don't, uh, it would be able to stop it without the sappy plates in it. Um, and uh, can you tell us what part of the vest is made out of Kevlar? Uh, basically the whole thing is made out of Kevlar. Um, from from the front to the back to the sides, all these pouches would all be Kevlar. Um, also, the helmet itself is made of Kevlar, is, is, a, is a tougher version of Kevlar. Uh, Kevlar can be either as hard as a helmet or as flexible as as the, the flak jacket itself. Um, do you see any flaws in the technology? Anything that can be improved over the years? Well, uh, this is like either the first or second gen this is the second generation of a flak jacket. Um, usually before that was the green ones that you see in like all the, the old war movies that, um, that came out. Uh, this is the new, st this, this was the new stuff that they came out with to be more, um, more camouflage in the desert, darker, so green doesn't really uh, camouflage very well. Um, after this, they have a, a third, third generation, I guess, uh, which doesn't uh, strap in the front. It actually is already sewn together in the front. It straps from the sides. So just in case you get, let's say you get blown up in, a, in an IED strike or something like that happens, uh, your flak jacket doesn't pop apart like this. It'll pop apart from the side so that your front is still, uh, your front and back is still protected. Um, the flaws of this, really, it's it's really big, it's really bulky, it's really hard to get through. Um, let's say you had to come through a window. Let's say you had to uh, go through a little a little space. You can't really you can't really do it. You got to get the littlest guy to go through because of the fact that it's just so big and bulky and hard to move around. Mm -hmm. But the good part is because. Because it is so big, it covers a lot of your body just in case you do get shot. Mm -hmm. If you get shot, if you get hit, if something happens to you, um, because it is so big and bulky, it covers a big area, you're less likely to get injured. And um, do you see this technology as a uh, improvement to what has been used for bulletproof material in past years? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, before, you know, they really didn't have bulletproof materials. Uh, before they started with the flak jacket, the flak jacket was more to uh, to catch shrapnel that from um, grenades mm -hmm. rather than stop bullets. Uh, now, because you know the the stuff that we're going through now, the, the the situations that we're going through now, we're not getting blown up as much as we are getting shot at. So mm -hmm. they had to step up and uh, make a better bulletproof. Better flak, better flak jacket, better bulletproof vest. So yeah, it's it's definitely a big improvement from what uh, what they had before.
I'll tell your girlfriend you play well. <laughs> <laughs>